Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at examples of multiplying complex numbers. Just to review, a complex number is of the form a plus bi, where the real part is always listed first and the imaginary part is listed second. The other thing we need to know about this is that if we come up with an i squared in any term, i squared is the equivalent of negative 1. So when we write, when we multiply complex numbers, we want to make sure that our answer is also a complex number. So it should just be two terms, the real part and the imaginary part. Our first example, we're going to multiply 3i to 2 plus 9i. So here we're going to do, we're going to distribute the 3i. That would give me 6i plus 3i times 9i would be 27i squared. Now i squared, as I just mentioned, is equivalent to negative 1. So this is like 27 times negative 1. 27 times negative 1 is a real number. So we're going to put the real number first and put the imaginary part second. So there it is our product in complex, uh, standard complex form. Here we have two real numbers that both have a real part and an imaginary part. So we're going to use, you can use FOIL or the distributive property, whatever makes sense to you. We want to make sure that each part of this number gets multiplied to each part of this number. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. 4 times 7i is 28i. Negative 1 times negative, uh, sorry, negative i times negative 3 is positive 3i. And then negative i times 7i would be minus 7i squared. So we're going to combine our like terms. In the middle here, we have 28i and 3i. That would be 31i. And then also this last term, we have an i squared. Remember, i squared is equivalent of negative 1. This would be like negative 7 times negative 1, which is positive 7. Negative 12 plus 7, are, those are the two real parts. We can combine those to give us negative 5. So we end up with negative 5 plus 31i. This number is in standard complex form with the real part first and the imaginary part second. In our last example, we're actually going to be multiplying three complex numbers together. Anytime you do a multiplication with three factors, you can only multiply two factors at a time. So I'm going to start with this product here. Negative 2i times 3 is negative 6i. Negative 2i times negative 6i. Negative times negative is positive. 2 times 6 is 12. And i times i is i squared. I might clean this up before I go ahead and distribute to that last number. Um, i squared is equivalent to negative 1, so this would be like 12 times negative 1, or negative 12. I'll put that real part first, although really in the middle it doesn't matter. So we'll have negative 12 minus 6i, and we're going to multiply that by negative 5 minus 2i. A lot of negatives going on here. Let's see, we get negative 12 times negative 5 is positive 60. Negative 12 times negative 2i would be positive 24i. Negative 6i times negative 5 would be negative, uh, positive 30i. And negative 6i times negative 2i will be positive 12i squared. Combining our like terms in the middle, so we end up with 60 plus 54i. Here we have that i squared, that's negative 1. 12 times negative 1 will be minus 12. Now we have like terms of 60 and minus 12. So that gives us 48 plus 54i is our final product. If I already said I was doing the last example on that previous slide, I'm just kidding. I added an extra slide. Um, I want to look at this one just because of what ends up happening here. So we have 5 minus 2i times 5 plus 2i. When we distribute, we have 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 times 2i, which is 10i. Negative 2i times 5, which is minus 10i. And then negative 2i times 2i would be minus 4i squared. Now when we go to combine these like terms, look at that. They cancel out. So we're just left with 25, this becomes negative 1, that would be plus 4, so that would end up being 29. So this is a unique thing, we multiply two complex numbers and our answer ended up just being a real number. That's going to happen when we have this pattern here, so we have the 5 plus 2i and 5 minus 2i, those are called complex conjugates, and if you multiply two complex conjugates to each other, the result will be a real number. So that's important when we get to division of imaginary numbers and just something to keep in mind.